What is up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in this mug. Welcome to my first video ever on the new setup that I have. It is a new computer. Uh, the camera is an old camera, but I don't know if I've used it too much with the um, with my old laptop before it puts out. And uh, I am so excited. My camera is a T5i, Canon T5i from uh, my lady boss. She bought it for me as a as a Christmas gift last year, and I'm so glad I finally get to to use it to. Uh, make more tutorials and do more with the studio and uh, do more podcasts and start churning stuff out again because oh boy howdy getting used to a school schedule being a full-time student again has really thrown off my my whole time schedule I've got a bunch of commissions that I want to catch you all up on finishing out the May painting challenge and I'm just so excited to get going so it is a I decided to go with a PC rather than an Apple uh, rather than a Mac and uh, this was on the recommendation of uh, one of my, my good buddies and mentors here on the YouTube and also doing my own research because I'd only ever been used to doing work on Apple computers and um, I thought that this would be a good time to switch over because I, I do have a lot of PC products and um, you know switching over my Microsoft Office and stuff was was easier it, it just seemed to make more sense to me and in the end it was a lot cheaper than doing it through um, than getting it getting an Apple computer so there's that there's the bonus of that saving some money so that uh, it, it wasn't I didn't have to keep waiting for donations and stuff but mega Tim Ho um, everybody who's donated to me I'll do a, I'll do another video when I'm actually looking at the computer and I have the list in front of me of everybody who donated uh, and for everybody who commissioned my studio to paint work for you thank you so much and let's get started with these iron hands because <clears throat> that's kind of really the meat of it today's my day 22 video so uh, progress with the iron hands was I shaded everything and I started working back up the highlights on my models you can see that after the shade it's gotten some of the areas looking really glossy not sure if I want to stick with that I'm gonna dull it down a little bit um, I have yet to add the transfers and I have yet to do these lightning cloud guys are gonna get the power sword treatment the crystal sword treatment that I did for the uh, sergeant here or one of the sergeant characters from the tactical marine box and uh, so they will be lightened up nice and nice and cold blue the client requested that I d use uh, icy blue as the as the spot color and I think that's a great idea because when you're working with a model that's predominantly black like the Iron Hands, Black Templars, Raven Guard all of that stuff you want to have something that will make the models pop on the battlefield so here's another lightning claws guide that I'm gonna be working on getting the lightning effect done up I'm so excited you guys to get back into doing tutorials it has been too long and I have really I've got a whole list of things that I wanna that I want to film reviews, unboxings, tutorials. Now I can use two hands again. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Uh, this is, wow, what a brand new day. Somebody mark this. Lewis, Lewis, Igor, where is everybody? So these guys, the client has glued a coin to the bottom. I think that's great because if you've had any experience with assault marine guys or vanguard veterans before, you know they're really top heavy because of these jump packs. And if they didn't have the coins, they would flap over all the time because they are top heavy, meaning that the weight is distributed more to the top of the model than the bottom. I gotta fix the F stop so it stops focusing so much on me. That's another thing, you guys. Autofocus lens on this camera. My old T4i did not have an autofocus lens, so gosh, I'm so excited. I gotta keep going, it's four minutes already. Here's the final guy I wanna take a look at. For most of the scroll work, I decided to do. Um, writing on so uh, that's using my micron uh, micron studios pen 0 0.005 is the smallest tip you can get so it's really easy to write it down it also helps for doing any i still have to do that scroll I, it also helps for doing any kinds of purity seals uh t we take a look at this guy's shoulder purity seal right there i used my micron arts pen to write all of those lines Okay, so getting on to the story of the day, a war story, right? Day 22nd. And share an awesome story from a miniatures game, a role-playing game. Okay, so the, the story that I thought would be fantastic to share with you guys is one time uh, the role-playing group that I was kind of game mastering for 
for uh, Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, they, um, <laughs> one of the guys decided that he wanted to get into demonology, which uh, for any of you who follow the fluff know is a no-no. A, a but I let him do it because, you know, he's my friend and they, were, they figured out ways to work around the, um, the whole, like, should or shouldn't we morally be able to summon demons from the, 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 the realm of chaos. So thanks to a series of very fortunate dice rolls and planning out, they're planning out finding the right tutors and looking for the right materials and um, it, it totally goes against the grimdark universe of even Warhammer Fantasy, but I let these guys summon a demon, a greater demon, that would come in and pretty much be a deus ex machina kind of uh, solve the problems if they were not strong enough. So if they were being hopelessly overwhelmed, if they really needed help in a pinch, uh, this one wizard character could summon this demon <laughs> uh, and uh, it, the, the demon's name was, was uh, it's pronounced Eufriga, and I, I kind of wrote, wrote it like a Norse um, or kind of Nordic pronunciation, but the way they pronounced it was Eufriga, which in, in like the dialect of Pidgin, which is predominant in Hawaii, is kind of, <laughs> kind of like, Eufriga, hey, you friggin' guy. So, uh, <laughs> they, which I kind of wasn't really meaning for them to do, but anytime they would summon a Eufriga, uh, they would call it out like that, and he would be summoned and he would clean house. Later on, when we realized that, you know, he can't be used to solve all your problems, there has to be some things that, that he cannot interfere in, I uh, would add in this clause that a Eufriga was also studying to uh, get his doctorate in being a greater demon and so sometimes when they would try to summon him he would be busy studying so he'd be reading his textbook with his uh, with his glasses on and uh, he, he wouldn't want to fight so that, that way we could kind of balance out how often he could be summoned sometimes if you know he had finals or midterms coming up then he would be like sorry guys I gotta stay and study for this really big test I can't help you out um, but <laughs> I mean these guys are so crazy I'm sure you some of you mostly hopefully hopefully most of you have been in situations where you know the imagination and the creativity and the friendship and all of that stuff kind of trumps the rules and the setting and the narrative and I think that is when the best memories are made because Eufriga was definitely not even a big part of our of, of any kind of module that I had written for these role players, and it ended up being the coolest thing, one of the coolest things in our old uh, group's adventures. All right, thanks you guys. I'm so sorry it's running up to eight minutes because I really wanted to share the uh, revelation of this new uh, technology that I've got at my fingertips. So stay tuned for more tutorials, uh, more updates definitely on the May Painting Challenge, and more of uh, my studio. And thank you so much for supporting and watching. We'll see you in the next one. Latest players!